Hi folks, today I'll be doing an orientation video on this 2020 Forest River Asada 24RWM. And uh, I'll turn the camera around, here we go. Okay, first off, this is your side camera. So when you hit your turn signals, this camera will activate this side of the coach. I'm gonna crawl under here. This is your propane. This tells you how full your propane is. This is where you would go to fill it. And this right here is how you open it up. Lefty loosey. And then righty tidy is to close it. For now, we'll leave it open for the purpose of this video. And then close that up. Okay. So sewer outlet connection. And right there is your gray tank valve this is your black tank valve okay you can run the sewer right down here through the floor you just open this up and then this right here is where you hook up your sewer hose just hooks up right there okay and you can run it down through there so you can close that door okay and right here is your black tank flush so open this up plug the hose right in and inside your black tank, you have kind of a little sprinkler that uh, cleans off your sensors. Uh, it cleans off solid stuff like toilet paper, poop, anything that's stuck to your sensors. So you can get proper readings, okay? So that's what the black tank flush is for. <clears throat> this is for city water, okay? So right now, I have water going into the unit. And uh, the pressure from the from the city water of the hose makes it so you don't have to use your water pump. It's not coming out of the fresh water tank. It's coming just from the water uh, from the city or whatever water connection you are a part of, okay? Right here is your 30 amp shore power uh, plug-in. And depending on where you go, if they offer you cable or satellite, this is how you would plug that in, okay? And we're gonna go in here. So. See how this says dry camping? This says tank fill, and this says city water fixtures, okay? So right now we're on tank fill. So when it's on tank fill, the water going in here is going into your tank, okay? When you move it to dry camping, okay, now it's gonna basically take the water from your freshwater tank. Okay, when you move it to city fixtures, that means it's going to take the water from the city, not from your fresh water tank. Okay, and underneath, if you move it to winterize or sanitize, that is used to winterize or sanitize the unit. And with that, we need to talk to someone from service to get the proper uh, instructions or read your manual to properly learn how to winterize this unit. Every unit's a little different. Right here you can turn the light off and on and then right here is your water pump. You can activate your water pump outside so that way you can run your outside, your outside shower, okay? And Close that, and then back in here is uh, some storage, okay? And looks like you got a couple entrances for your storage, and it's got the nice plastic bottom with drain plugs, so you can drain ice or fish or water out of there. And this is just another entrance into that same area. Looks like you got rear hitching ready to go and the pin harness. Okay, and this right here is another door inlet to get also to the rear storage. We're gonna come down here, and right here is your Onan 3600 generator. Close that. Oh. Right here is also where you can, uh, so if you're outside your coach and you wanna hook up uh, a TV it looks like you got the HDMI hookup right here or the cable hookup. So you can plug in the TV right here using this power source 
and then run these so you can watch whatever DVD or shows that you're watching. And then this right here so you can mount the TV also out right there. This right here is your maintenance entrance to your fridge and your freezer. That's what these two are for. You got your speakers out here. This right here is for your furnace exhaust. Try not to put anything that'll melt next to it because it does get hot. So tell the kids. Here is your water heater. And looks like you get the air out right here with that to purge the air. Uh, you can also activate uh, power on, off, and then looks like on power again. This is uh, the new tankless water heater, guys. So that's pretty cool. And right here is some more storage with the drain plug right there. It's got a great paint job. Right now, sorry, we're in the shop testing out the system. So it's not that pretty out here. And next, we will come right here. So here are some living room lights, porch lights, awning lights. And anything with the arrows up and down, that means if you hold it, It'll dim them or make them brighter. Anything with the arrows, okay? This is some more ex exterior lights. This is to extend and uh, retract your awning. This is light master on, so it'll turn on all of them. This is light master off, so you know they're all turned off when you hit that. This is your battery disconnect right here. So um, if you think you left anything on, hit this battery disconnect off and it'll shut everything down for storage, okay? And then right here is for your automatic steps, okay? And then this is a place for you to plug in your wine guard. This right here is another way how you say to uh, activate your Truma AquaGo water heater, okay? And then this right here is so you can, uh, it's called the equalizer systems, okay? So basically you can do auto, auto level, you can all you can retract all and then you can lay down some of your stabilizer jacks electronically that's pretty cool and then right here is your solar looks like this is equipped with solar panel this is just a solar panel readout it tells you that it's working and it's charging your batteries okay so right there is fire extinguisher for your safety and we'll come here to this pad okay so we're going to start with the home button all right, so you can do the water pump, master, light off and on, okay? Turn your power inverter on. Tells you the coach's temperature, which also you can set right here up and down. Tells you we have some fresh water, 75%. Right now we're uh, cleaning your gray tank, so it's full of cleaner. Black tank is full of cleaner, and the LP is full. You can also turn on your tank heaters for when it's freezing outside. You can turn them on to make sure they don't freeze. House battery is at 12.7 volts. Chassis battery is at 12.7 volts. The chassis is usually the motor stuff, uh, Mercedes uh, chassis stuff, and then the house is for uh, the house batteries that run um, the living area, okay? Also, automatic generator start. So if you turn it to that, you can enable this and follow the directions. So you can set your generator to automatically turn on at a certain time uh, when it maybe uh, keep it at a certain temperature that you want. And uh, you can also set it to turn on when um, you, you hit a certain voltage where the voltage is getting low, it'll automatically uh, turn on which is awesome. You can also do generator stop and start right here. And it tells you the hours on the generator. Okay. Yeah. And this screen is literally dedicated to just automatic generator uh, settings. So you might want to read the manual and play with this. It takes some playing and trying to get to know. It's, uh, it's a little too much to explain it all in one video, but uh, that's the best way. And this is why we send you the video a day in advance so you can be ready and equipped with the knowledge that you may need to work this okay lights just push the buttons exterior awning and like i said anything that you see with arrows up and down that means you can dim them just by holding them down bunk lights and still master light off and on is right there now we're at climate control uh cool heat pump furnace auto temperature setting fan high low and auto and then you can change your temperature setting right here okay um Furnace, 
we can turn the furnace on, we can have a heat pump, which gives us heat, but through electric, not through uh, propane. And then the auto, okay? And then right here is our slide section. So it says park brake must be set and power source of either shore power, generator, or engine running is required to operate slides. So you just hit confirm. And then right here starts the rear slide, uh, retract, rear slide, extend. Okay, now we got a uh, dinette slide, extend, retract, and then the awning outside, extend and retract. And basically you just hold these buttons down and they start working. Pretty cool, huh? And it looks like the awning will retract with just one touch. That's great. And we'll go down here to settings. And this is just so you can set up your mobile app to this, because you can do everything that you see here with this screen with your cell phone. We just got to set up the app, okay? Also, uh, network diagnostics, cleaning mode, screen brightness, display colors, all that sort of stuff you can do right here. Even set the time. And that's how that works. Right up here, we got the bed. We got the ladder to get up here on the bed. The ladder connects right here on these. We got our little table right there, which you can pop in and out. We got another table right here, which we can pop in and out. This is right here, so we can recline. Ugh, sorry, so we can recline them. And this right here, so you can hold these little uh, these things right here. So they plug right in to the little holes right there, and that's how that works. Coming over here, we got our propane slash carbon monoxide alarm with the AC if you want to dump the AC right here right from the unit you just open these valves okay if you want it to run through the ducting you close these valves now it's going to run through the ducting of the unit okay all right and this is one of your TVs right here it will also swivel out and around this right here is your AM, FM, CD, DVD player, and you can Bluetooth your phone up to it. So you can listen to music and stuff from your phone. It is not a Blu-ray player. If you want to play Blu-ray movies, you've got to get a, a separate Blu-ray player, okay? Um, right here, this, this extends up for more counter space. We got our sink. This is with the cool spring-loaded spring, spring -loaded sink, and you got the button right here to get the sprayer. Okay, so right here, if you're traveling, you want to keep that down, okay? But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to lift it up. It's kind of hard for me to do uh, one-handed, but I'll try my best. I'm going to do the center one. We're just going to turn the propane on and hit the clicker, just like that. Back left and back right, just like that, folks. And then I'm going to turn these off. And then I'm going to close this down. Also, this button right here is the light. So we can uh, turn these lights off and on. It's pretty cool. Got some drawers right here. Now these are all your remotes. Okay, so we'll have to go over those when you get here. This is stereo. This is for your Max Air, which is cool. It comes with its own remote and it's right there. So you can use the, your remote to activate that. And these are some TV remotes. You got a TV in your living room and in the bedroom. This is some extra paint and it's got the cool soft closed drawers right here is a, a fuse panel this stuff is 12 volt or battery stuff and it's all labeled right here and this right here is 110 or breaker stuff just like a house okay I'll close that and anything else here oh smoke detector is right there this right here folks is your microwave only works if the generator or you're plugged into shore power and special options see how you see the temperature degrees on here that means this is also a convection oven so it's a convection microwave oven if you don't want to use the touch panel to do your slides you can use these manual buttons right here that'll do the dinette slide in and out okay so if something's malfunctioning and you need to do it real quick you could do it right here uh, this is your fridge you just push in like that to open these and looks like it comes with an extra filter and yeah and then to turn the fridge off and on it is right here folks so on and then mode so right now it's on LP 
LP mode, auto mode. That means it'll automatically go to short power if you're plugged in. And if you're not plugged in, it'll automatically go to LP. Okay, so we're gonna leave it on auto and this is just temperature set, okay? That's pretty cool. And I'm gonna turn this off now. Let's see what's up here. Uh, so, this is hard for me to see from down here, but this is to adjust the outputs for your TVs. And uh, this also has to do with your satellite hookups and whatnot. So when you hook up a satellite and uh, you need to change to different TVs, that's what this is for. And we'll check out in here. Oh, this is a nice shower, guys. This has got the cool, um, it's got the cool shower head. I like that. Another fantastic fan in here and uh, me. And right here, your toilet. Looks like it's got the kick panel halfway down gets the water going all the way down opens it up halfway water all the way opens it up okay it's got the little light switch right here oh it automatically dims shut that's cool that's a really cool light and coming back here you got a little sink got a little medicine cabinet you can get behind here if you want it's got you can get behind the medicine cabinet here's your other uh, tv here's some more ways to activate the lights from back here Master light, even you can stop and start the generator in and out of bed. Uh, you got some reading lights. Uh, and like I said, anything with the arrow up and down means you can dim them. And you got the manual slide control for back here in the bedroom. All right. And here's your emergency exit. You just lift this up and push the window out. And I guess you just got to dive. Now, when you're bringing the slide in, you just uh, push the bed up like that and then uh, the slide will come in okay and then release the bed down when your slides out and that's how that works looks like uh i've covered a lot here in the coach folks hopefully i'll see you when you get here for orientation on saturday my name is nate i'll be helping you out and uh, i'm going to send you the video right now so you have the video a day in advance so you can give me any questions that you may have. And uh, have a great day. Bye.